Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is my video tip of the week. In this week's video tip, we're going to take a quick look at Vegas Movie Studio HD Platinum 10, the new version of Vegas Movie Studio. That's what I have open on the screen here, and you can see the screen layout looks a lot like Vegas Movie Studio 9, except for the background color is a darker gray. Now, for a lot of people, including me, I like to have the preview window down here and the timeline at the top. It's easy to change, but before we change it, I'll show you a couple of features. First of all, one of the new tools in Vegas Movie Studio 10 is the ability to click View, and then click Windows Layouts, and you can save any layout, or you can always go back to the default layout. This is important because if you lose Windows or if you've got things placed where you can't find them, you can go back to the default layout. In my case, I've created a standard layout, but before I show you my layout, let me show you how to change things. First of all, we go to Options, we go to Preferences, we go to Display, we can uncheck the Vegas color scheme, or we can use the Vegas color scheme and then we can uncheck display timeline and that's going to put the timeline here at the top and we click apply and then click OK and you can see the timeline at the top. While we're looking at the timeline, one of the nice new features of Vegas 10 is the ability to have more than four video tracks and more than four audio tracks. In fact, right here I have seven video tracks. In fact, if I want to add more, I can just right click and then insert video track and it adds another video track. This means you can stack up to 10 video tracks and 10 audio tracks on Vegas Movie Studio HD Platinum 10. This is a great improvement over the previous limit of just four video tracks. Some of the other new features of Vegas Movie Studio HD 10 is it has ability to handle move and MPEG files much better. In fact, you won't get the audio and video sync up problems or the missing audio and video that you have in previous versions of Movie Studio. Another nice new feature is that when you go to render, you click Project Render As, it now will put an equal sign in front of the template that best matches your video properties, which makes it easier to figure out what template to use to get the best results when you render. Another nice new feature in the render is that when you select Main Concept 2, which is what you would select when you want to render DVDs, you can now go into Custom and change the bit rate of the DVD that you're burning. This is important if you're trying to get more than 70 minutes on a standard DVD. You can go in and change the maximum average and minimum bit rate. To see the other new features in Vegas Movie Studio, you just click Help, Contents and Index, and it says what's new in version 10. And the most important new feature is the video tracks. There is image stabilization, and I haven't found it to work too well. There is a white balance and color corrector, which are now built in. They're kind of limited, but they are there, so it's nice to know that they're there if you need them. Uh, you have 10 audio tracks, and you can see there's a number of other features. But for most of us, the most important feature is the ability to have 10 audio and 10 video tracks, the better handling of move and a uh, move video. Oh yeah, there's one last feature that's kind of interesting. You can go to Tools now, and from Tools you can go directly to Burn a DVD. So you don't have to go through DVD Architect if you just want to burn a single play DVD without a menu. There are a few other features. This is not a major upgrade. The main big feature is the 10 audio and 10 video tracks and the better handling of the Move and MPEG videos. If you've already got Vegas Movie Studio 9, it's probably worth upgrading. If you've just got Vegas Movie Studio 9 Platinum and you're working on a limited budget and you're not working with Move or MPEG video files, it's probably not worth upgrading yet. It's a great program. I don't have any problems with it. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. Find more like this at www.bmyers.com. And you can also find a lot more in my uh, DVD, 101 Tips and Tricks Using Sony Vegas Movie Studio, which is available at Amazon as well as my website.